every organization should have a level of sovereignty in what they do when it comes to technology. It's basically a matter of being master of your own domain, being able to control the things that happen, being able to control the decisions that are being made. It's about trust, it's about data, it's about being transparent, but not having everything out in the open and in the public. We are seeing that the world is changing fast and that we are seeing more and more crises and events. And sovereignty is more than uh, data privacy. It's about technology sovereignty, or open source, vendor lock-in, technology lock-in, or operational sovereignty. So what can I do to take back control in case of an event? We really respect and we subscribe to the goal that governments have towards ensuring technological, operational and data uh, sovereignty and uh, we find ways to get it done and yet still achieve the purpose with an efficient way. So the market is changing. Um, more and more offerings are available to provide very different elements of sovereignty. Um, and that provides a choice for us. So we can, we can think or we can choose what technology fits best to a certain demand. So if you want to make sure that, for example, your data does not leave the domain in which it has been assigned to and uh, defined, you can have different levels of sovereignty in your infrastructures. But if you want to balance the agility of a cloud solution with the strong control of uh, um, a sovereign solution, today there is ways you can do both. So you have a sovereign cloud. It doesn't need to be in your data center anymore. There are structures that give you all the flexibility of the cloud while preserving sovereignty. Open source is one of the key elements when you think about sovereignty, because sovereignty demands trust and transparency. Open source is a good way to provide that transparency to us, to our governments, and at the end to the citizens. Technology is very important, but it's always very temporary. It evolves, uh, so we cannot talk about the technologies that are there in five years or ten years. So as Capgemini, we have an independent role there, uh, where we can really look at what is there at the right moment uh, to advise on for the different clients in the public sector. When it comes to preserving sovereignty and securing sovereignty, Different parties have different interests and Capgemini, as somebody who has always prided itself and stood for neutrality and independence, uh, is very well positioned to be in the middle of balancing that out.